just seems like a movie and it doesn't seem real like and, and, and I think we're still trying to push it out of our mind and she's a very lively, peace-loving person and she just wanted to enjoy and, and dance in this festival. Somebody sent us the video and uh, my, my son actually got the video. She has many friends all over the world already and, and she, she lo just loves people and loves music and dancing and art and it's just crazy. I mean, we just can't believe that. Ma'am, it's a very difficult time for you. Uh, you had a meeting with the German foreign minister. Tell me what really happened. Um, they, they were interested in our cases personally. We had to tell them our cases. Uh, they were already informed, but they wanted to hear it from our words and they were very moved. And uh, the foreign minister also did a, a trip in Israel and she really saw what happened. And then we had an alarm and she went to the safe room. So I think she got the, a good feeling what we really what's really happening here and how we feel and how cruel things happened here in this uh, last days. So this was good to get their uh, empathy and uh, she, she gave us all, every cooperation and contact persons that we can, any help we need. She, of course they cannot tell us anything about what's going on behind the scenes, negotiations, nothing. Uh, we don't know, right? We will, we will probably not know until there is something. And, and we just made it clear that we, we need to act fast and quick because it's getting worse. I mean, the water is getting worse, the people might be sick and need help. And we need to act quickly and not too bureaucratically <laughs> and diplomatically. We need actions, really. And they stand behind German citizens the full way. They, they gave us this commitment, which is also good. Mom, tell me about Shani. What was she doing? Why is she in Israel? What was her, yeah. her program? Tell me about that. Shani was in, on the festival. She really likes, she's organizing festivals with a friend and she's uh, traveling a lot from festival in Europe, in Mexico. And she was in this one for uh, the music and uh, dancing. And she's a very lively, peace-loving person. And she just wanted to enjoy and, and dance in this festival. And, and then this happened. She's an artist, she's a tattoo artist, and very artistic. And she's, she's so uh, worldly, she has many friends all over the world already, and, and she, she lo just loves people and loves music and dancing and art, and it just doesn't make sense that this is happening to her. Uh, what would you uh, say when you first heard this message about her? What, what were you doing? How did you get the message? Somebody sent us the video and uh, my, my son actually got the video and, and somebody asked him, hey, is this Shani, is this Shani? Because it had her specific tattoos on it and, and, and we saw it and we immediately saw it's her. It's, uh, and we were all crying and it, it just seems like a movie and it doesn't seem real like and, and, and I think we're still trying to push it out of our mind in order to to live and act normally but it's it's just crazy I mean we just can't believe that people are doing such things and so brutal and unhuman things so. I mean I we hope that you get your daughter back ma'am thank you so much for talking to me thank you okay thank you, thank you.